You know, I'm not sure what it is with reckless driving being such a trend recently. You know, not too long ago, we saw Jack Doherty crash his McLaren while he was texting and driving. Earlier this year, we had Neon crash like I think a Lamborghini Urus. And today we have Marquise Brownlee literally committing felonies on camera. Now, I'm not too familiar with Marquise Brownlee. I know he does like, you know, tech reviews and stuff like that. And I think recently he started doing car reviews. And recently he did a promotional like sponsored video for this camera. Now, I know some people were giving him flack for this because he said sometimes time in the past or apparently he said in the past that he would never do a sponsored video but honestly i think that pales in comparison to what he now cut out of this video but basically within this video he sped up to almost 100 miles an hour in a and i am not joking a school zone a place where children can be walking and playing he sped up to almost 100 miles an hour in his new lamborghini in a freaking school zone now before we take a look at this video i want to give a quick shout to this channel right here since they actually re upload the clip from the video that Marquise Brownlee tried to hide and censor and you know delete off of his video but thankfully this person caught it in 4k so yeah let's go ahead and take a look at this get back and use those webcam if you want All right, so as you guys can see, the dude went from like 30 miles per hour to almost 100 in a place where children could have been walking. You know, the speed limit was 35. And the most irritating part about this entire thing is that this car he's in, I actually looked at like the dash and you can see the model of the car like in that little screen in the middle. And that is a newer Lamborghini. I'll put it up on screen. I don't know how to pronounce the name, so I'm not even going to bother trying. But to give you guys a perspective of how much money this dude has, this car at base price is $600,000. Okay, this car literally costs more than your average home. And what irritates me so much is that if you can go buy a $600,000 car, what is stopping you from buying a racetrack or renting out a racetrack for a day so you can get footage for your video? And I just want to go ahead and put this out there. There's nothing wrong with wanting a nice expensive car that goes fast. That's cool, right? You know, I'd love to have a nice expensive car that goes fast. But it's how you use the car, right? You know, if you know, if you're getting a car that's like a thousand horsepower, it's like, you know, a couple hundred thousand and you want to take it to the track. That's cool, right? You want to speed around the track. That's fine, because guess what? You're on the track. You're in an area that's enclosed, it's monitored, and it's safe. But when you go take that car out on the streets and you're speeding around up to 100 miles per hour and not even on the highway in neighborhoods, small little thin roads, neighborhoods where kids could be walking or playing. I mean, like, what are we doing, bro? I'm like 99% sure that that is a felony as well, depending on the state. Although I could be wrong. I'm not a lawyer, so don't take any of this as like legal advice. But this has to be illegal to some degree. Like this definitely warrants jail time. I mean, my guy, you're literally putting people's lives in danger. Like, guys, could you imagine? Could you just imagine if this dude was speeding and he hit somebody? Like there is no sweeping that under the rug. I mean, you literally like are serving jail time. And speaking of trying to sweep stuff under the rug, let's go ahead and talk about how Marquise Brownlee tried to cover this up, and then we'll talk about his apology. All right, so as you guys saw, he tried to hide the speed he was going by blurring out the speed on the gauge cluster, but where he forgot to censor the speed was the little screen on the passenger side's dashboard, which is just so funny to me because the speed he's going is like very noticeable. Like it's very, very noticeable. I mean, even hypothetically, if he did censor out both of the speeds, like displaying on both of the screens, it still would be very obvious that the dude was speeding in an area where he was not supposed to be but ultimately he just cut that segment out of the video after people started calling him out for it and he kind of tried to sweep it under the rug now as of recording this video the video is still up on youtube and oh my goodness that is a that's a pretty uh not so nice looking dislike ratio you got 90k to 39k likes Ugh. 
But then you got this pinned comment right here. Cut out the unnecessary driving clip that obviously added nothing to the video. I hear all your feedback on sponsored videos too. See, my issue is like, if you hear all the feedback on your videos, then wouldn't you address the fact that you were almost doing 100 in a school zone? Like, why are you just being so vague with, oh, uh, I, uh, I didn't mean to add this unnecessary driving clip into my video. I understand it added nothing to the video. I hear your feedback, guys. It's like, if you really heard the feedback, why didn't you just apologize then and there? Now, he did end up apologizing later on, and this is his apology. All right, so here he says, last video, I did something pretty stupid. You might have already seen it, but maybe not, so I'll address it here. There was a clip with the action cam of me test driving a car and going way too fast. Absolutely inexcusable and dangerous. I've since cut it out of the video with YouTube's editor tool. I also understand that this looks like I'm covering it up, but I think it's the right thing to do. Well, I mean, not going to lie, of course, it's going to look like you're covering it up when you censor it, then cut it out of your video and people call you out and then leave a comment vaguely addressing the clip and not even addressing the most serious part about that clip. Of course, people are going to think you're covering it up. Now, I'm not saying that he should have left the clip in the video or anything. I'm not saying that like he should just leave it there and, you know, let everybody see that, you know, he's speeding and, you know, potentially even set a bad example. But at the same time, I mean, you could have just apologized straight Right away or you know not even sped in the first place you literally could have just rented out a racetrack like i said this could have all been avoided if you just rented out a racetrack for a day got your footage and then went back to what you were doing low-key i kind of feel like with a lot of the dramas and situations we see nowadays i feel like they could have all been easily avoided if it was just for one simple thing like is it really that hard to just drive and pay attention to the wheel and not your phone so you don't crash your McLaren. Is it really hard to just not do 100 in a neighborhood where people could be walking? Is it really that difficult? There's no reason to leave that clip in. There was no reason to include it in the first place. And I would never want to make it seem okay by leaving it in the video. I'm well aware of the Streisand effect and I know everything on the internet lives forever. But I think that's the best decision right now. All I can do, apologize and promise to never do anything close to that stupid again. Uh, not gonna lie, I think he had a bit of a typo there. That's a terrible example to set and I'm sorry for it. So yeah, he did apologize guys which I guess is good, but it's still crazy to me how somebody can casually just upload a video of themselves doing 100 miles per hour in an area where the speed limit is 35 and it's a school zone. And he did all of that publicly. And really, as far as I know, he didn't really face any repercussions apart from getting some heat on the internet. Like, it's just crazy to me. And like I said earlier, multiple times, this dude could have just rented out a racetrack. Like, all of this could have been avoided if he just spent, like, a tiny bit of money renting out a racetrack. It's not like it's out of this guy's budget either. Like I said earlier, this dude has a $600 plus thousand dollar car. So there's no way he can't afford to just go to the track for a day, get some footage, and then go home. It's just crazy to me. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this situation in the comments down below. Be sure to check out the Discord server link in description. Also, make sure to give the video a like to help it with the algorithm if you did enjoy. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.